Truth. Truth is a light that shows me what I need to see. I don't want to stay in the dark places, asking questions with no answers for me. Truth is a light that shows me what I need to see, what I'm meant to see. Truth will not remain in the dark. Truth will not remain in the dark. It must come forth. It will mend or break your heart. It has a place like all things do. This poem is written because of a situation that happened many years ago. A 30-year-old woman decided to play with a 19-year-old young man. A 19-year-old young man is a person who is discovering their manhood. They are experimenting and they are having fun. So this is a situation that evolves from that time. So some of you will see me talking about that truth. It is not coming forth at this time with any intention to hurt anyone. It is very hard to turn the truth into a lie. So when we don't tell the truth, we tell a lie. Truth is a light. And truth it shows you what you have to see. And when you walk in the darkness, you will not be walking in truth. So many of you experience this type of situation. Many people say, I'd rather hear a lie than to hear the truth. Truth is a light that shows me what I need to see. I don't want to stay in the dark place, asking questions with no answers for me. Truth is a light that shows me what I need to see, what I'm meant to see. Truth will not remain in the dark. It must come forth. It will mend or break your heart. It has a place like all things do. But for the young women who've ever been 30 years old, we know that sometimes we have enjoyed playing with young men. I had the privilege to play with a young man. He was 19, and I was I liked him. He didn't ask anything of me, and I didn't ask anything of him. We played the game. We enjoyed the game. And all I have now are the memories of the game. But whatever we do in life, memories never die. Everything has a time and a place. This is why I like Ecclesiastes, the book of wisdom. It tells us that everything has a time and place. Thank you for listening to Truth is a Light. My name is Abigail Adams. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. God bless you. And today is May Ninth, 2021. My mother lives in my heart. Many of our mothers live in our hearts because they are not here right now. They've gone on to be with the Lord, but they live in our hearts. And I have never had a baby, so I'm not a mom, but I love God and I am God's child. Thank you.